gun. Here you go. Oh my gosh, dude. Is this your coffee? I don't do coffee. And he's trying to steal my chicken. in the Inland Empire at the Art Institute of California Inland Empire, and I'm here with Gabriella. Hi, Gabriella. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks for having us here. My pleasure. So tell us a little bit about the Art Institute. Our Art Institute here in the Inland Empire, this is a culinary program. We do our a la carte kitchen, which is uh, six, seven different programs. So the students are here, is this an actual school, so they're going to class as well, or? This is a class also, so it's open to the public, plus we serve. And is it a, a four-year college, or? It just depends on you, if you like to uh, do your bachelor's. It could be a two-year, three-year program. So the students that are attending here, what typically will they move on to do? I mean, where will they go? We're aiming here. To, for them to get a career in the hospitality industry, which is hotels, um, big chain restaurants, to go for a degree. And so what are we watching here? Because there's a lot going on behind us and around us. We are prepping for our four-course dinner menu. So can we go ahead and just kind of interrupt them and ask, can I talk to them? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I see lots of meat over here at this station. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, we have some veal ribs here. We're just gonna grill them off. We have a family meal every day, so this is for us to eat. Can you tell me what's going on over here? Um, we're cutting up the ice, um, the romaine lettuce for our um, Greek salad. Awesome, so you're just cutting and cutting and cutting? We're just chopping and making sure that it's a good lettuce, it's not all flimsy, because right. uh, we don't want our guests to eat that. Linda, how long have you been coming here to the Ardens? Um, I've been here about two years. So I have, I'm in the bachelor's program. And what are you working towards, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I just want to work maybe in a casino or a hotel, just to get experience and then maybe travel a little bit. Sorry, I don't know anything about food. Uh -huh. Is this going to go on a grill or where is it? How you no, this it? actually, it's going to marinate in lemon juice and then it'll start to, some of the color, like the dead color of the shrimp will go away. It'll look, look Turn you know. pink, right? Yeah, okay, I do know that. From marinating in the citric acid. So it's going to marinate and do you serve it cold or are you cooking the shrimp? Cold, kind of like oh, a... Okay. Almost like a salsa with a chip or a cracker, oh, crusty wow. bread to dip into it. It looks delicious. It smells good already, too. Tell me one more time. What's your name? Laurent Bayon. Laurent Bayon. And are you Chef Laurent or? Laurent, teacher of pastry bakery uh, here at the school in an empire. Also the chef for uh, Santa Ana School, same group, AI, and Santa Monica AI also. What are we seeing over here? Well, they did different uh, pastry show piece with uh, chocolate confection, sugar confection, different little candies. Uh, everything, of course, made here in the school. They are learning the chocolate production, chocolate tampering, uh, different type of ganache. Pepper what is ganache? Ganache, ganache? Yeah. it's heavy cream heavy and dark cream. chocolate. Ooh, yum. Yum. it looks so good. Okay. Go ahead and show it to the camera, and then what What do we have? So lime? The lime ganache uh -huh. with white chocolate, and then that's the um, peppermint ganache. Uh, do you eat everything that you try? Yes. Is that is that just part of the rule of being a chef? You have to. Yeah. Because you have to expand your palate, so you have to try everything. Mm. Are you challenging me, or? Yeah. <laughs> okay, which one do you think I should try? That one. Lime? Yeah. Lime? Ganache with white chocolate. Ganache with white chocolate. Oh, wow. That's really good. Hey, Joel, you want to try some of these uh, caramel strawberry ganache and arm almond pistachio? No, almond pistachio ganache. Almond pistachio Wait, did ganache. Did you just ask, do I want to try sweets? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is like heaven for me. I am such a chocolate lover. This is what we're here to go to school for. We're doing advanced pastry and baking and everything across the board. Wow. You tell me. There's a school in the IE that teaches you how to make candy all day long. All day long. <laughs> like really, 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 really good candy. <laughs> so tell me again, Yvonne, what is this? Vanilla bean. It's a vanilla bean milk chocolate ganache, and then uh, it has another layer, which is a passion fruit white chocolate. Oh my God. All covered in uh, dark chocolate. All covered, and you're saying I get to try this? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so 
What have you tried it already? Yeah, I've and been eating them all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do, man. I was saying, you gotta roll me out of here. This one has a passion fruit feeling. Yes, See, I look, heard. Look, it's a passionate chocolate. Passion fruit. Mm. I have found heaven, and it's in San Bernardino at the Art Institute. Bye. All right, so I'm here with Chef Walker. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us out here. So can you tell me what you do here at the Institute? I take the students through a real life uh, experience of how a restaurant works. This is about the last class before they leave school out into the real world. Wow. So our job here is to uh, teach them both front and back of the house on how to operate a, a full service restaurant. They'll rotate through every station in the restaurant um, all the way out to the front and they'll get a chance to make every item that we make on the menu during this quarter and we do change that every quarter. So it's very dynamic. Uh, they get an opportunity to have the stresses and you know the pleasures of being in a restaurant. What is it that you love about teaching? Uh, you know what, it's, it's actually watching the experience and seeing them grow because from the first uh, day of class they were all very nervous to be in the station because for some of them I'd say about 85% of them never worked in a restaurant. So, so they're, they're coming in here with very high expectations and um, they've had some confidence building through the other courses, but now it's the real world. The other courses do five plates in five hours. We do five plates in five minutes. So it's a complete different animal. They've learned the, the necessary basics to be able to operate in a kitchen, but now they have to put them into play and do it fast. And that's what it's all about. They have to memorize every dish because you'll see there's no cookbooks out, you know, so everything you have to put to memory and they have to continue to uh, operate on a level of, of both safety and sanitation and all wearing gloves and they have all these things that they've gone through all the different quarters learning and now they have to put them into play and, and make it happen. We have a sous chef that actually has to act as the brain in the kitchen so my job is to train them and then I have to take a step back and let them operate on their own. Um, so the first couple weeks are pretty hard um, but as now by this time everyone's kind of has what they need to do and as, you know they work on their own. So now I'm just doing a little tweaking and we do menu changes to spice it up a little, let them create features or specials. Okay, so Chef Walker, um, my mom and my sister and I, none of us are cooks at home and we actually have been wanting to learn how to cook and so we decided we were gonna start our own blog and kind of challenge ourselves and it's called Three Women, Three Dishes. And so I'm just wondering, um, coming from a professional chef, what is your advice for home chefs? I guess experimentation is, is a good thing. Uh, stick to recipes, but you have to find a good book, and that's hard, that's really hard. You wanna to go to the classics of Thomas Keller, uh, Julia Childs, who I'm sure was an inspiration. People like that who have actually made the cuisine that you're actually gonna cook. And a lot of mistakes in the books you got might sound good, but that's the hardest thing, is that it's not necessarily your mistake, believe it or not. It could be the recipe's wrong. Well, that's so great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate your time. All right, so I'm here with Quincy Pham, who's the PR director. Yes with the Art Institute. Can you tell me about what you guys have to offer here for the students? Well, we are an art school and we offer different programs in fashion, fashion retail management, we have design, and now we've added uh, audio visual. But today we're here um, at our culinary kitchen because we offer several degree programs in baking and pastry, as well as culinary management and culinary art. So you can, depending on what you're looking for, you can get an associate's degree, a diploma, or a bachelor's degree. Wow, there's so much here to offer for them, and it's right here in the Inland Empire. We had no idea. It, yes, um, and it's the only art school in the area, so students who come here don't have to go to L.A. or San Diego, and to, and to get an art degree in culinary, which is our strongest program, we um, started with less than 30 students here four years ago, and now we have over 1,500 students, and, the, and half of them are actually in culinary, and you'll be able to actually taste test some of their work. And I say work because everything they do is a work of art here. Um, so we'll be going to our restaurant called Seasons here and uh, you guys can actually try some of the food.